What is going on, my fine people? It's your boy, Fine Line 1721, checking back in. About to give you guys another quick review. This is not a first look, but it's definitely a fresh look. Here we have the upcoming Jordan 18, slated for release April 7th. Um, I was on vacation, so I didn't really want to take too many pre-orders on these. I think I did like maybe uh, 18 pairs. These are pretty limited. Don't So don't think that it's just going to be a cakewalk if you're trying to get this shoe. If you're trying to pick it up or whatever the case may be, I probably won't update sizes again on the site. But you can DM me on Instagram or send me a message on Twitter and I'll definitely get back to you. My Instagram and Twitter, you guys should already know, FineLine1721. DM me and I'll pretty much send a link and be able to secure you a pair, get it shipped out for you. Because like I said, for the most part, I probably won't update these again on the site. But here we have the Air Jordan 18 Retro Gem Red and Black. Nice OG style box. I have noticed that Jordan brand has been coming with just pretty much your OG style boxes for the nice shit. They not doing that plain ass black box anymore, which everybody is probably growing tired of. Uh, flipping the box lid open. Oh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this around. Uh, don't know if you guys see it. Got your stamp right there and also quality control sticker right here flipping this open you should have paper stuffed in the middle to block it from fading from block it from the other shoe and also a little paper back here on the back now let's go ahead and get into these shoes thing to note as you guys know you got your green and white sticker here for those high quality suede products. Boom, flipping this joint up. These right here are exactly what this color is. This shit should have been fire red because these joints are fucking fire, period. If you do not have the Ferrari 14 in your collection, I don't give a fuck if you don't like retro 18s. And if you don't want to spend that high resale price for the Ferrari 14, put these motherfuckers in your collection. These joints are fucking dope. Good, soft, suede. You definitely can see the strokes. See the strokes, you can see how it's changing. I'm, I'm making it a little darker. As you guys can see, nice. This joint is nice. Um flipping this over should come with like a little piece of cardboard right there. Got Jordan underneath the tongue. Make sure your joint clamp good it's like kind of like a magnetic button should come stuffed like this this should be your little black insert here shoe tips should have your little fake metal shoe tips probably plastic but looks metal chrome it doesn't come, you know, normally tied in a knot, like normally how Jordans will come like this. They don't come like that. The shoe strings are just tucked, in, tucked inside the shoe. And I believe this shoe tree does have paper underneath. As I uh, try to pull this out a little bit, this is how your shoe tree should come. I don't want to pull it all the way out because I want to have it make an easy way for me to get it back in. But your shoe tree should come as such. You guys can see that. And it has like the little extra little hump right there. So you'll be able to pull that out. So that's the things to check for. To make sure that you uh, getting you a 
nice authentic pair. Inside, you got that touch of um, racing that Jordan brand is, was into. I don't know if you guys can probably see it right now on the cam. I don't really want to change the light that way, but you should have like a little touch of like a, a, a racing team. I can't stress this enough. This shoe is dope. This shoe is dope. Has a leather tongue. Yeah, leather tongue. Put that back right there. Little lace holders here. Little breathable insert, like the grill that's bees on the car, the side of the cars. Let the air intake in, little breathable ankles. Look at that. Even just touching this, man, you can see the strokes on here. Let me get it back dark red for you guys. Definitely, man, you want to put these in your collection. Put these in your fucking collection. Dope. Carbon fiber. But it feels a little mushy. Anyway, but bottoms, you got your black jump man coming through the clear see through sole. 18 on the bottom. The Infinity logo with the jump man on the toe. Taking a look at the other shoe. Yeah, and they kind of kept it. This is another thing that I just noticed too. Let me put this other shoe down. They kind of kept the old school throwback Jumpman logo. As you guys can see, got the little ass crack. Now, if you ever, if you're a fan of like really old school retros or just like the OG factor, or how they used to come, like when they were originally made and everything like that, please, man, check out uh, Jumpman Bostic. That man is like pretty much to me. A real true OG in this sneaker shit. He be having like the original releases to all of these shoes that we be, you know, doing reviews on the retros and everything like that. John Man Bostic, he'll pretty much show you like this shoe back when it originally released and shit. And it'll have like this old fat ass jump man on it with like the ass crack and shit like that. Really don't really have fingers. Like because the most of the jump man logos from back in the day or like the original shoes when these joints came out, they look like that. Like it didn't they it took Jordan Brand a long time to kind of like master the jump man. Like if I pull this up, as you guys can see. Like, if you look at this jump man and then you look at that jump man, you can see, like, years have passed and, you know, technology is a little better. So they able to kind of, like, get that laser stitching to kind of do what they're doing. If you look at the Tinker, you know how it got a little hand prints on it. They removed the ash crack, shit like that. But back in the day, man, all of the Jordan jump mans had this fat ass logo. So that's pretty neat. And like I said, man, uh follow or go watch Jumpman Bostic. He'll be going over shit like this, man. He'll show you like not this particular shoe, but let's just say like the white and blue one. 18 that just retro. He'll have like the original white and blue retro 18 and show you guys like the comparison from when that shoe originally released when Jordan was playing for the Wizards and shit, I think in like 2003. So when you see like this fat ass jump man, don't be thinking like this shit fake. Nah, this how them joints used to come back in the day. If you don't got the Ferrari 14, this retro 18 definitely will suffice. Um, if you're trying to secure a pair, please hit me up on my Instagram, DM me. I could, I will send you a link to be able to purchase this joint. They will ship out on the release date. I will not be adding sizes to the site on these. You will have to DM me. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Both handles are the same. Fine line 1721. And into the next video, you guys know what to do. Be smooth. Enjoy life. Bless up.